Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Kreitcho, a member of the Ember Framework and TypeScript core teams. And in this little video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch over from using the default setup with Ember CLI TypeScript to the new preview types that shipped with Ember 4.8.0 beta 2. You can see here, I have a fairly normal Ember CLI TypeScript setup. I have run the generator and gotten all of these types added to my package. And I'm going to switch that over for Ember itself to using types supplied by Ember itself. So I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to start by deleting a bunch of packages, types dot slash Ember, and then every one of these types slash Ember underscores, except for test helpers, which is its own package. And then I'm going to switch Ember source here from 4.6.0, which is just the reason I uh, version I happen to have installed to at least 4.8.0 beta.2. I'm going to run yarn and it's going to get rid of the old ones and add the new thing. Having done that, I'm going to switch over to the index.d.ts in this little test package that I get automatically from Ember CLI TypeScript, and I'm going to delete everything in it. The reason is covered in the blog post in detail. Short story is the array prototype extensions are going away. And I'm going to write two new imports, import ember source slash types and import ember source slash types slash preview. And that's really all I need to do. At this point, everything just works. If I come over here and go into helpers, for example, and create a new helper, uh, not a new folder, but a new file, and say, we're going to call it eq.ts, and I say import helper, oh, look, I'm getting autocomplete for it, boom. And if I write export default helper, it shows me all the things I need to know. By default, I'm getting the default positional arguments and an empty object for my named arguments, but I could change that. I could say it's going to be A and B, and both of those are unknown. And I'm going to return a Boolean, and I'm just going to return A equals B. And boom, I now have type checking all the way. This is ESLint being grumpy because I haven't set up ESLint in this project. The same thing will work with our generators, which we're going to update shortly. But if I generate the application route, you'll see the old version of our application template, which has this old janky stuff that we're not using anymore and will be removed from the blueprint shortly. But if I come in here and I say before model, I get autocomplete out of the box. It does all the right things. You might notice that default exports tend to come in lowercase. That's just how the TypeScript language server works. So you can update those yourself manually if you like, but the net is they all work and have the right types. Transition.2.name equals someplace special. Then I'm going to abort the transition. Nothing fancy here. All of this we got for free just by adding these two types. If we dig in here, we'll see that the Ember source types is actually empty at present. There's nothing there. Uh, but the types preview package has all of these imports and that makes everything visible. Over the course of the preview period, we will be getting rid of all of this and moving it over into the stable types directory. And once the preview period is over, we'll be able to remove this entirely. Neat trick about this. If at some point we want to ship preview types for, say, Ember Polaris or other new features, we'll be able to do that the exact same way. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Check out the rest of this blog post and find us on Discord in Dev TypeScript or Topic TypeScript. Thanks, everybody, and happy typing.